What is up guys and welcome back. So basically, I if I wanted, I can also show you that how can you go with the Ocean WP team and create another website. But I wanted to show you something new and something totally new so that we can edit that completely and we can work with that, okay? Um, you can see that we can also create this whole type of website with our um, Elementor plugin and everything. But we will be editing um, this um, because this team gives the functionality. So I wanted to show you something new, basically. Okay, what I wanna do, I wanna go to the pages right now and let's go ahead and let's basically come here to the customize and let's try to customize our website because we want to customize it okay um, first of all I want to change the name so we will be giving our website our company a name and then we'll start with it so it's saying please wait this might take a while and we have this right here so we can add section we can add some stuff and this team also comes with a pro version I would not recommend you to go with this pro version. Meanwhile, you can go with the pro version of the Elementor. I'm gonna show you why you need the pro version of that and we will be moving on with that later on. Okay, so, but don't buy the pro version right now. When I will tell you, you can buy that. Okay, so let's go ahead and we need to go to um, the general setting. So let's go to the general settings and we need to go to the site identity and we want to change the site title. So our site title is going to be, um, we are creating a website for a company and that company name is Buka, Bukala, Bukala, Bukala. Okay, so this is the company name. I think this company is great. So I want to uh, add the tagline to so my tagline is going to be um, the leading, the leading computers, the leading hardware company. Okay, so we are creating a website for a hardware, hardware company. Okay, the leading hardware company. Okay, and there we go. So this is now we're totally done with this. We have set up our um, title, we have set up our tagline, and we also have to set up a tag uh, site icon. So basically, what are the site icon? If you can see this, this is right the folder right that this is coming. So this is called basically the site icon. So let's go ahead and let's create a site icon for ourselves. Um, I want to go to the Photoshop right now, and I want to create a site icon. Also, I want to create a logo. So I'll be just doing this in just some minutes, and I'll be back when I'm done with this. So you can go with the file and you can go with new and we need to just go with the site icon. So for site icon, we need the pixels to be 512 by 512 pixel. Okay, I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna come here and 512 by 512. Okay, there we go. And this is our site icon, we wanna add something. So for this, I think I should be adding a text right now. Okay, and that is going to be boo color. So there we go. Or we can go with just BK for a short form because we want to show the icon, site icon. So, okay, um, I want to go ahead and want to increase the size of it. So I'll just increase it. Okay, I want to select them and I have to just hit control, shift, hold the control and I want to increase this. So you can see that this is increasing right now. Okay, um, BK, BKL, BK. Okay, um, this is right now. I want to increase them, let's increase it a bit more. I want to click this and you can see this is gone. Um, I want to change the color of this. So this is going to be the black and this will be red. There we go. Um, one more thing I want to do, I want to change this to be a little bit of arc. I want to come here. I want to decrease the size. There we go. Here we go. Um, now I want to um, just um, remove the background. So I have to just click it and you can see that the background has been removed and we want to change, sh save this image as a PNG image. So I want to come here. I'm going to hit control alt save and I want to go to the desktop right here and this should be saved as a PNG and I want to name it as site icon.png there we go I want to come here and I'm gonna hit okay I want to come here right now and I want to come here and I want to select the image select files 
let's go to the desktop and we want to go to the site icon so this is the one and this is being uploaded here we go I want to select and we want to crop it as well so this is already here okay you can see this is now coming right here this is changed I want to do one thing I want to add a logo right here so our logo the first one is the light logo and the second one is the dark logo so that if we change this this we go down you can see that this is the header color which is being changed so you can go with two logo okay um i want to come here to photoshop right here and for the logo size basically i think we should go control new control n and we want to change the logo size so so logo size is going to be 512 by another 512 it should be 1200 so let's see this is the logo size so i think this is being so much increased or yes this is cool okay i want to add something right here i want to add the blue color blue color okay um let's come let's select this and let's decrease the font size okay and i want to change this to red the red one so this will be my logo one okay let's click here let's click here and let's save it so this will be my logo one i want to save it as png logo one.png i don't want to create a logo too as well in which this color would be um red and this will be black Okay, so you can create basically logos like this. I'm just showing you that how the logos works basically. Okay, I want to come here to PNG right here again. And I want to select this to be um, logo2.png. Okay, um, let's hit okay. Let's come here to desktop right here. I want to go to select logo. I want to go to upload files. I want to select files. And I want to go to the desktop. So this is my logo one select um, I want to crop it okay cool this has been cropped I want to hit crop image so it's gonna come right here I hope I've chosen the right size okay and I want to go down and you can see that this logo is being same but I want to change the color so I want to go to the dark logo I want to select the logo I want to go to upload files I want to come here and here should be the logo too so you can see that when I change my scroll over my this you can see this will be changed let's come here let's come go above right here let's just come to this side let's come here and this as well I want to hit crop image so there we go now you can see how this is going to change okay i'm going to go down and you can see this is first black and this is red and now i go down and this is red and this is black so, just so, so you can pretty well change these stuff okay um then we have the logo max height you can change the logo max height as well you can change if you want to okay uh, but i'm going to go with the default one that is the 70. so now what we want to do we want to go back and we can pretty well change ourselves with our um, customization colors as well. Okay, um, we, have, we can go with the background image and everything. But I think we don't want to do it. What we want to do is that we have two options. Either to go with this team and edit all these stuff with this team. Okay, you can edit them completely. Okay, what you have to do, you have to just come here, you have to just click hit this, and you can change it. So you can change it like boo color. Okay, and this is will be uh, my the world's leading hardware hardware company. Okay, um, then we have the action button one. 
So it's going to be, I can edit it. The action button one, the burden tax would be um, about us or something like that, about us. And it's going to link to anywhere. And then we have the target to be same tab and I'm going to hit apply changes. Okay. I want to go to this right now and I want to come here and I want to get here, get a code. Okay. And then the link is going to be anything. So I want to come here and I'm going to hit the same tab. Let's go ahead. So you can open this up in a new tab as well. So then we have about us, get a code. Okay. Then we have responsive design. You can change it. Okay. You have to come here to browse icon and you can choose an icon that you want to add right here. And then you can come here and then you can hit apply changes. So this is basically pretty very easy. And I don't think so if I should show you because you guys already know how to change this. You just have to come here and this is the portfolio. Portfolio means the projects that you have done. So you can come here, you can go to the browse image, browse icon, and there we go. You're totally done. So this is how you can manage it completely. I don't think so if I should show you. You can also add a section if you want to. These sections are available in pro version. So I would not recommend you to go with this team pro version. Okay, um, now what you have to do, you have to just come here and you have to hit publish. Okay, we are totally done with our home page. Let's just design our new page and that will be our about page. Okay, so you can basically change this completely. I don't think so if I should show you this. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit close. And I wanna go to the dashboard right here. Okay, let's go to the pages and all pages. I wanna add a new page and that will be um, about page, okay? And I want to come here to default template. I want to come here and I want to hit publish. Let's see our page right now. How is it looking? So this is how our page is looking. We have our home about service, the world, deleting hardware, company is also coming. So I can just change, uh, change this front page template page with left sidebar page with right sidebar. Um, but I want right now, I just want to go with the edit with Elementor. Okay, it's going to take me to the Elementor page and here I can edit it completely. So you can see that you have to basically um, carry on with this header right now because you can you can change that if you want to. You, you cannot edit this, but if you want to edit this header right here, what you have to do, you have to just come here and then you have to hit customize. Okay, and I think if this theme gives you the ability to customize this header if you want um, the changed header, header right here. So, okay, we have this hero. Okay, we have inner pages hero right here. You can change these hero um, if you want to. Um, you can change the color type to be an image right here, and this is going to be an image. So you can see how this is looking. Okay, I think this looks pretty well. Okay, um, I think this looks good well. I'm gonna go to back, the inner pages hero and the text should be show subtitle. I don't think so if we need this. About is fine. I'm gonna go to publish right now and you can see that this is published still here. So this is how you can manage pretty well any of the team. And now here we wanna add some stuff, okay? What we wanna add is that we can, and first let's go ahead and let's hit view page. Let's come here and let's just hit this again so that nothing changes. You can see this is how our website is looking. If we go down, our header is being changed. Now what I want to do, I want to add a new section and then we're going to edit that. So I'm going to hit add new section. This is right here. I want to come here. I'm going to hit this and now here we can edit our this whole team. So in the next video, I'll show you that how can you edit this whole team and how can you work with it. Stay tuned guys and bye bye.